How's it going Preston Outdoors fans? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host here Ethan Preston and in today's video what I'm going to talk about is connecting your Minn Kota Ultrex with the new uh, down imaging transducer inside the trolling motor. How and what you'll need to connect it to your um, graph up front in your boat. So if you guys see, haven't seen it already I did a installation video where my dad helped me put the uh, new Minn Kota Ultrex that I just bought this spring and put it on the front of my Skeeter boat. Um, if you haven't seen that already, that video already, how we got it um, mounted and took my old Minn Kota Maxim off there as well, there'll be uh, a card popping up above here and the, the link will actually be to the video again in the description of this video if you wanna see um, how we got that, my old Minn Kota Maxim off and how we mounted the new trolling motor. Um, for this video, if you know anything or have been following what Minn Kota has done with the Altrex this year, it has come with, like I mentioned before, a DI or down imaging transducer already built in to the head of the trolling motor. And then it comes with this long cable. I'm gonna kind of show you how I hook it up. So like I said, your motor comes with uh, this long cable. Now I tried to look up on YouTube and some articles and stuff before I bought the motor. That way when I, the trolling motor when I got it I could just hook it directly to my graphs and go and I didn't have to wait for any extra parts I didn't see many videos on it and I didn't see many articles really popping out and saying you're gonna need this stuff so I want to do a little quick video for you guys in case you guys or know somebody that's gonna get um, an Altrex saving up for it that way you don't you know, I mean you can plug and play and you can use it the next day instead of having to wait to get parts so they call this a dongle or a connection basically what this is gonna do is I'm gonna screw connect it here to the trolling motor. Then I'm gonna run this through. Um, I've taken the, the center power console out here uh, in my boat. I took it out, a couple screws, and I'm gonna run it through, and then it's gonna pop up and hook up to the connector of what I call like the seat belt that'll click into my graph. Um, make sure, I don't. I forgot to show you the packaging, but it comes with just brown packaging. It's made by uh, Minn Kota, and make sure you get the right one for your unit. I'm not 100% sure if this um, DI unit will connect to Lowrance units. Look on the packaging, I have the Helix 10 um, side imaging units, and so that way, um, you need to make sure you get the right connection for that otherwise it won't work for your graph. You got your connection piece here or the cord that connects to the trolling motor. We got our dongle or connection and what I'm going to do, see if you can see this here, right here I have a hole drilled um, where all my other pieces come out um, from the boat. So what I'm going to do is kind of run, the hole isn't big enough to run the big piece through so I got to kind of find my way, put my arm in here. Find my way and pop this up through the hole and make sure I can get my arm out. Okay, now we have this run on um, this piece run through. We're gonna take this big piece from the trolling motor and what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at both of these um, pieces. There's gonna be a groove to line it up. It's real easy. Um, plug and play till it's tight. And then I'm gonna run that extra cord inside here, but then I'm gonna leave enough uh, sticking out to where the trolling motor can go up and down um, freely. Now what has, make sure you do is that you put, you tuck this cord in uh, far enough to where there's not any slack or anything that it can get, um, can get caught on and get cut because I've had this get cut on me before. This is the connection device that hooks up to the Humminbird. Um, that way I don't have to individually take um, all the cords off and on when I take my graphs off. Uh, I just call it like a seat belt because it clicks in like a seat belt. So I've taken the two screws out and it'll come apart like this. It's got two little wings that you need that will hold it on there. But then this um, cord, as you can see here, there's different uh, head pieces. This one fits only in the end. So we're gonna run that sucker in there. It can be a little bit of a tight fit, but make sure you get it in there. Cord wraps around, okay. All those fit. We're gonna put put it together. If I can get it to sit right. There you go. Put it together. I'm gonna put these two little screws in. Basically, it's a. It makes it easy to where you just have to plug plug the uh, seatbelt thing into the back of the graph, speeding the process up a little bit. 
So next one I'm gonna do is I'm going to get um, all this cord tucked away and put this center um, main power switch or hub, whatever, back on the boat. And then I'm gonna actually turn my graph on and show you that, uh, that it made sure and show you that it's connected to the graph itself. This, all of them will line up into the back of the unit and you can just, um, if you can see that there, listen for it here for the, how it clicks in there. So now everything's connected and you don't have to individually plug and unplug them when you're done. So, excuse the uh, dirty screen. I haven't taken all the water spots off it yet, but we're just gonna turn the unit on here and hopefully it'll start clicking the transducer to let us know we're connected. At, now if we go over here to the transducer, you listen, you can hear it ticking. That means you're connected and that means it's sending off a signal and it's pinging off of you know, like the bottom and stuff like, oh, Jesus scared me. You can actually feel it ticking. Um, it's ticking off the bottom and all that stuff. So it's, it's ready to go and it's connected. So I want to do this short little video for you guys that um, maybe new to the channel or whatever, or who's ever got an Altrex and you're, or you're looking into buying the trolling motor. Um, this is just something that I didn't see that there was much of it on YouTube or articles to see that you need that um, dongle mount or, you know, that connection between, um, you know the main trolling motor to your graph making sure that you get the right connection um to your graph to the right graph that you have otherwise it won't work it has to do with the number of prongs that are inside that connection is what i was told from the salesman that um when i bought the unit or bought the connection so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos on the altrex it's very very new to me um and as, as i find new things out and find new features um if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below even if it's not about this subject that way i can interact with you some more um, i've had got some requests for um, some videos on how i use my graphs and how to identify fish and weeds and all that stuff if that's the kind of video that you guys want to see um, too on the channel just let me know um, leave likes and com basically it's comments leave comments below let me know what you guys want to see and i'll do my best well thank you guys for watching um, tune in next time and make sure that you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, um, Facebook, obviously here on YouTube. Um, that way you can see when I come out with more videos. And I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear in the comments and stuff on what you're looking for in videos. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time too. Preston Outdoors.